that we are buried with him. So we are, we are falling to the ground with him in debt. We are buried with him just like you plant a corn of wheat. Right? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. Even so we should walk in the newness of life. See, the, the very power through which Christ was raised from the dead becomes the operating system, becomes the ground upon which there is an expectation from heaven concerning us to live in the newness of life. So the possibility of sustaining this newness of life is tied to the very spirit of glory that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now, the question is, how do we walk by this spirit that is the author of the newness of life because the scenario here is resurrection so it is the spirit of resurrection that is responsible of, for empowering us to live the kind of life that God wants us to live the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is responsible one of the life applications of the principle of resurrection is quickening. The Bible says it is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. <clears throat> you cannot fulfill the expectation of God if you are not quickened. And so when God says, meet me in the night, you cannot do that in the flesh. There is a quickening that God will bring on you every time you want to fulfill something that is naturally impossible. In fact, there are several levels of obediences that you cannot furnish until you are quickened. Just like Abraham that was asked to go and bring his son as a sacrifice. That's not normal obedience that every normal Christian can fulfill. There are dimensions of quickening, enabling that God makes available in order for us to be able to fulfill some of his demands. So when you now said, okay, God, you want me to meet you in the night. You will have to enable me to do what you want me to do. So that believer that is conscious of the fact that there is an enablement facility that God has put in place that will give you the capacity to overcome physical weakness so that you can furnish the expectation of God that that understanding huh? is an understanding of covenant because the spirit of God comes to empower us to do what we cannot do naturally by ourselves and uh, it is on the principle of resurrection that the possibilities that we have in God are manifested through our Christian life now let me tell you something i don't read the bible naturally before i read the bible what i do because i know that if i'm going to hear the voice of god from the pages of the scriptures i need to be quick i am a student of watchman nee and watchman nee says that the person studying the bible is more important than the study because of that you will need to he said that in recommending that spiritual labors that need to go down before you attempt to dig into scripture. And he gave a prescription of labors that are required in order for you to be quickened to the level where the Holy Spirit can draw your attention to several things that will, will become express words of God to you. You can't do that naturally. You have to be quickened. You can't pray naturally. You have to be quickened. And this quickening that I said is one of the manifestation of the spirit of resurrection. Are you still with me? I said the spirit of resurrection is what powers our Christian life in this covenant. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. If you have that spirit, then heaven is expecting you to live in the newness of life. Is that clear? Uh -huh. That expectation is based on the potential that is in the spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. If your situation is not as bad as death, because the spirit raised someone that died from the dead. If your challenge is not as bad as that, you have not yet scratched the ability of that spirit. 
So just in case you, you have a, a lousy prayer life, it's not because there is no enablement. It's just because you have not yet understood that in this covenant there is a provision for you to operate beyond your human capacity. And that possibility is in the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from what? From the dead. Many people that understand this principle more than others are enjoying more from God than other people. I know that it is not possible. You know the Bible says, so shall we not depart from thee. It's a quicken us and we shall call upon thy name. I know that the power to pray is not human ability. It is spiritual ability. Alright? And so the psalmist says, quicken us. So you need to be quickened in order for you to be able to pray sufficiently. The way you need to pray in order for several things around your life to change. I know that by intellectual study of the Bible, you will never hear, thus said the Lord. So I go and get quickened first. When I'm quickened, then I come to the pages of the book. And I might remain on one verse for five days, for six days. Because I'm quickened. So spiritual realities begin to take place. The extent to which you enjoy God is the degree to which you know that in God there is a resident enabling. Right? And you seek God's impute in every area of insufficiency that you notice around your life. Maybe problems are coming and you know what you need now is wisdom. Wisdom is not something you can achieve intellectually. You will need to be quickened for you to understand the mind of God about that matter. All of these realities are actually offshoots of the potential of the resurrection power that is the operating system running your Christian life. But the de degrees to which we exploit this possibility is different based on understanding. Hallelujah. 